How many negative thoughts a day do you have? So the National Science Foundation did a study in 2005, and they found that the average person could have 12,000 or more thoughts a day, of which 80% of their thoughts are negative, 95% the same thoughts that they had the day before. Well, many of those thoughts are actually demonic, demonic spirits that are giving you those thoughts so that you can't forgive those who hurt you, those that treated you bad, those that uh, didn't face justice for what they did to you. And that's by design so that you don't forgive and give them to the Lord. Matthew six fourteen through 15, Jesus said that we don't forgive others who have sinned against us then God will not forgive us of our sins. And that allows those demonic spirits to hang around giving you those thoughts in your mind. Again, you can be a Christian, you can be a spirit-filled Christian, you can pray in tongues, but as long as you have unforgiveness still in your heart towards those who hurt you, that gives legal rights to those demonic spirits to torment you. And that's why you'll have a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. In fact, fear really is kind of what gains those legal rights for those demons to come in. That's what kind of opens the door when you're young, when you get hurt, you get wounded, maybe a father that puts you down, a mother that controls you or puts you down, maybe some sexual things that happen to you, maybe you're exposed to pornography, you know, and when we get into fear, we get into shame, we get into rejection, then those demonic spirits will start to give us thoughts can, we can ask Jesus into our hearts, we can become a Christian, but we'll still struggle with those demonic thoughts until we're able to truly forgive them from our hearts. When we forgive, then the Lord can forgive us. And then that takes away the rights the demons have to stay. And then you can simply command the demons to be gone in Jesus' name. And then instead of all that enemy chatter all day long, 12,000 thoughts, 80% negative, 95% the same thoughts the day before, trying to sleep at night, torment, torment, torment. Your mind is at peace. You can actually have peace. You can start having the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And I wrote a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's helping people around the world to get their soul wounds healed, to forgive people, to repent for their pride, to take away rights the enemy has, and then command the demons to go and actually have peace for the first time and the fruit of the spirit. I also do personal sessions with people. If you're interested in that, you can reach out to my assistant, Tina, at tinak at restoredofreedom.com, or you can go out to our website, restoredofreedom.com, go to contact me, and then just fill out the uh, contact form. Uh, also, my phone number is out there too, 317-459-7091. All right, thanks, bye.